right, hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. It is hot today, very hot. The British summertime has thoroughly kicked in and I think today it's around about 26 degrees, which when you come from a mixed ethnicity background like myself, that is just way too hot for me. It is, it is unbearable, but you know, it is what it is. But we're not here to talk about that today. We are here to talk about and to have a look at the Victos Upscale 2 Sling. Um, this is actually the second piece of kit that I've had my hands on from Victos and been able to test out. Um, I also think it's probably poignant at this point to, to point out this was sent to me from Tactree or Tactree.co.uk here in the UK. Tactree is a provider of military style gear to uh, people from the military background, um, to airsoft, to EDCers, to law enforcement. Uh, they also have a, uh, a sister site um, called medtree.co.uk that also provides medical equipment, medical resources, all of that sort of stuff um, to a lot of the ambulance crews that are out there as well. So um, I, it would be rude of me not to thank Tactree for sending this out to me to test out. But I think it's also good to point out that with the agreement that I have with Tactree, Hopefully you'll understand if you've seen my content before um, that what I'm going to give you is, is hopefully factual and 100% my opinion rather than me being paid to review this positively. It will be 100% fairly reviewed, fairly discussed um, so that you can see the positives and negatives and any possible things. I'd, I hate to say positives and negatives. A positive for me might be a negative for somebody else, whereas a negative for me might be, might be a massive positive for somebody else. So I, I prefer to look at things that maybe I would possibly change for my use, but maybe not positives and negatives, although I've just talked about that way too much. So what I'll do is thank you again to Tactree. I'll leave some links in the description below so that you can have a look at them a little bit more and let's well, well, let's, let's just get on to it. Let's have a look at the uh, the upscale too. Okay, so here is the pack itself. Now, as we usually do, we'll go around the outside, we'll have a look at the inside, and then, you know, kind of give you my final thoughts towards the end. Um, there's probably some... Let's talk about the construction first of all. This is the Grey Man Grey version. There are six different colorways that you can get with this, which are kind of split into two groups. So you've got your, uh, your full flat colors, your flat colors like this one, which is the gray version. There are four different versions. There's a black, a gray, a ranger green, uh, and another one, it's like midnight blue, which is more like a dark navy blue style color. Uh, all of these are constructed from 600D Cordura. There are also two other versions which are uh, multicam, you've got usual kind of multicam or, or there is the multicam black, um, whereas those two are constructed from 500D, I think it is the Cobra, um, the, the brand of the ballistics nylon is, is Cobra that those two are, are, are made from. As far as measurements are concerned, um, I'll give it you imperial in this one, but I'll also put the, um, the what's it on the bottom. This comes in at 15 inches in height by seven inches across and depth wise, once it's fully packed like this, comes in at roughly, or, or at least up to four inches. Um, this is probably as packed as I've ever had it. Now I have been using this purely for EDC. Um, mainly because that you know that's a that's a type of bag that it's 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 designed for but there are some um features of this pack that are designed purposely for things like ccw um if you're in the us or any other nation that you're allowed to carry uh, a firearm there are some features of this pack which make it really good for that um, i've got a toy gun in here at the moment that is 100 percent um, uk compliant to make sure that i'm not going to get in trouble with uh, with youtube so we'll go through the outside we'll go through the features and everything so uh, af after the construction side of the materials uh, what you've got all the way through here here are YKK zippers. All of the zippers have these um, accessory cords on them with some shrink, I don't know what this is called, what is it called? Shrink wrap? 
maybe, um, which makes it really easy to grab. Uh, also, if you're using this with gloves, I've not tested this through the winter yet, but you know, I can imagine if you've got gloves and you need to grab these, it makes them very easy to pull. The way that they've fashioned the knot towards the end where the rubber bit is, it, it just kind of melts into your hand. Okay, so um, I'll call this the front for now. This will be the back because that's the bit that I keep towards my back. But on the front here, you'll be able to see there is a AquaGuard zip pocket that you can use for quick access stuff. At the moment, I've got one of these Helicon Text um, first aid kits, but being a responsible dog walker, I also keep lots of poo bags in here. Um, the pocket itself goes um, all the way up Actually, oh, it stops just about an inch before this seam, uh, and then at the bottom it comes down to there. So that's roughly about eight inches by about four inches across. So um, you can fit quite a bit in here if you want to put your mobile phone or your car keys in there. It's certainly good for that. It's the only thing on here that isn't ambidextrous. Now, the only way that they'd be able to do that would either to be put it across or to be to, to have zip access to both sides. My mum dropped me when I was a baby, so some things I do left-handed, some things I do right-handed. I carry this left-handed which means that you know if, if there is anything heavy in here it would come out but you know it's fine I deal with it it's it's not an issue which is mainly why I keep things like um, poo bags in there but it, it's something to to be aware of now after that everything else as far as as far as these main pockets here and here is concerned are completely ambidextrous and now the way that this is designed for ccw it makes 110 percent um sense for that to be ambidextrous so that one they don't have to make two models and two you know it fits all of the the lefties or the cacandas out there as we call them here in the uk um so behind this uh, quick access pocket, there is another large pocket here. Um, rather than having uh, an AquaGuard zipper on these, this just uses reverse stitch for the zipper to make sure that it just keeps some of that debris out of there. There are double zips, so you can pull these down on both sides and then this whole section clamshells open. Actually, let's just move that forward a little bit. Um, I've got this kind of quasi setup for what I guess you know somebody doing CCW may possibly carry this for this is you know my educated guess purely from the UK it's not something that you know we would generally do here um, but on the front so you have a nice little pocket which has the um, the unconquered Victos branding in there which I think is really cool um, I like some of the military aesthetics that that, that has in this pack um, I've got a small pouch in there but I could easy, easily put uh, my first aid kit in there if you were worried you could you could carry a tourniquet or something like that in there as well um, you can also fit your gloves in just in case you wanted to fit some gloves in there but the gloves fit perfectly uh, I have a, a large size hand so my large gloves fit in there with, with absolutely no issues whatsoever and then behind the gloves there is uh, some organisation in here actually just on the back there you can see it says upscale to CCW um, sling bag so in here there are uh, three panels that will easily fit um, pistol magazines now as I say these are um, fake pistol magazines they are just for show um, and then what I've also done in here is I have put in um, some extra kind of EDC style stuff that you may possibly want to carry but now this is open you'll be able to see that there are three slots that you can put magazines into and then behind there there are two larger slots which will fit either AR, M4, um, AK style magazines if you want to put two extra magazines in there. Um, as I mentioned you know I have you per been using this purely for EDC um, so you know this is great for putting um, any sort of stuff that you want to put in there like like I said you know I've, I've had these um, in there and it's it's great for that so I'll zip those back up now depending on how you want to carry this whether you're a lefty and you open it on this side whether you're a righty and it goes all the way around you know you can pull on these you might possibly want it so that you prefer to have it open that way. It's got the two zips on there to make sure that however you want to use this, there are as many options as there are possibilities. 
Moving up to the top, you'll see that there is a little bit of minimal Victos branding. This is the same style plastic. I, I, I'm not sure what type of plastic it, it, it is, but it's the same style plastics that you get on the gloves that is, I guess it must be heat molded onto the fabric, however it's done. Um, but it's really nice and subtle and, you know, it's great. So across the top here, if I spin this round, you'll be able to see that there is a, a, a carry pouch here or a section that you can put your glasses into. So whether you prefer to keep them in a bag or whether you just want to rock your glasses and just drop them straight in there, this is fleece lined so that whatever is put into here, <laughs> that, was, uh, that was perfect, so that whatever you put into here is well protected while it's in there, it's not going to get scratched. Now before going into the main CCW section here on the back, I thought what I'd do is I'd just flip it over so that you can see the reverse here as well uh, and how the suspension system is attached. So it is completely removable if you want to. All of the uh, clips on here are Duraflex clips, um, really super nice and strong. Um, and it comes off here at the bottom as well. Um, have a look a little bit as far as how it carries, but you know I'm, I'm sure you can understand how a uh, how a sling style bag carries. Then on the back, uh, there is a, 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 a molly section as well. I don't think sorry, this is a pals webbing section. I don't necessarily think this is so that you can attach things to the back here, but more so if you want to attach this to another bag uh, and to be able to carry the two together, it makes it a lot more modular in the way that you can carry it. Also on the inside here, um, which again, you know, we'll have a look at a second, there is a, uh, a port, uh, an elastic port, so that you can take a hydration tube uh, and you can take it out from there and use it for that if you want to do small city breaks and you, you want to take something to keep yourself hydrated. Um, it will fit up to a one and a half litre hydration bladder in the main section if you choose to. Now, it, rather than being a completely symmetrical carry, um, it works off an asymmetrical so that depending on whether you're left-handed or right-handed, if I put that back in there, um, you can clip this to either side. It's very simple and easy to do. And I really like um, Victus's plastics that they use. It's very similar to the plastics that you get in the, um, where is it now, the Magpul, um, harness is it the M1, the M2, and the M3 the, that that harness system that they've got, um, so that these can move quite freely in there. It, I, I think that's a great little attention to detail that that's on there. So that's the back. Now this it would make sense now that we have a look at the inside. I'm going to open this uh, as far as I would do. Um, the way that I would carry it because I carry it over my left shoulder, although I'm right-handed. Uh, like I say, I was dropped when I was a child and something came loose somewhere. Oh, last little bit on here. You've got some uh, some minimal branding here on the side that says Victos Black Arms Company. So on the side, hopefully you'll notice that we are dual zipped as well. So depending on whether you want to swing this round and put, pull that forward, whether you prefer to pull it back to then slip your hand in, there are options for this on both sides. Now this is a 100% pass through. So if I were to open this, and open this side as well, then my hand can completely pass through here so that whether you're left-handed or right-handed, the options are on both sides exactly the same. Now you're probably wondering why I'm doing this, and the reason that I'm doing this is because I'm, uh, like I say, I carry it as, uh, for a left-hand side carry, rather than having these zips hanging around, what I do is I push them into this clip that's not being used, and also through this little reinforcement so that it's not being used. I find that's really useful, just in case you're, in a, you're doing a city break and you don't want prying hands to get into here, it also means that it stops these zips from opening because it is a 100% pass through um, and it, it stops them from falling out. So there's a little mall under tip just in case you choose to use that if you get one of these. So as I mentioned, you know, you've got the double zip on here so that it will open from both sides. And then when it is opened, you'll be able to see hopefully in there that I have my 100% UK legal toy gun. It does come with a holster. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see it's not loaded, it's not cocked. 
obviously, because it's a toy. Um, it comes with a holster and the holster has a Velcro strap so that it will stop it from falling out if needs be. Also, I've added an extra little bit of Velcro on here so that when it's in there, um, I can fit extra things in. Now, I'm just going to put this back in. Um, actually, no, I won't. I'll take it out. On the inside here, the main reason that I've put this on here is you do have Velcro on both sides of this. And hopefully, if you'll be able to see in here, you have a Velcro liner or hook and loop liner on this side but there is also a hook and loop liner on this side so whether you prefer it to have on the front of the bag or whether you prefer to have it on the back of the bag depending on which hand you use there's extra options there for you if you choose to what it also means is that if you have any velcro um, magazine attachments you could maybe have your pistol on the back side you could have magazine attachments on the front or vice versa if you choose to uh, use either of those now as i mentioned i'm not particularly tactically trained um, and there may be other uses for these two velcro strips this is just you know what i guess that you'd be able to use those for if I spin this round a little bit, hopefully you'll be able to see in here as well that there is an extra clip just in case you need to attach keys. But it's also really useful for at the top here. Um, if obviously, you know, this would go in the other way around, you wouldn't necessarily pull it out that way. But what you can do is when it's in there, you can hook a bladder system onto this, then swing it round on itself and tie that off to make sure that that bladder system stays in place um, so that you can use that on the inside. Now, as I mentioned, this will take up to a one and a half liter bladder if you choose to use it like that. Now, as far as how does it carry, it carries exactly as you'd expect a sling bag to carry. On your back it fits perfectly because of the nice flat back and the way that the geometry is used so that it is asymmetrical rather than a perfectly symmetrical carry it sits and it folds itself against the flat of your back it automatically and naturally wants to sit in a flat position against your back if you want to swing it round to the front there is a small grab handle at the bottom so rather than having to grab hold of the um, of the strap you can grab hold of the grab handle to pull this and pull it straight across the front. And again, the way in which the geometry works for this, this strap now comes straight up and the rest of this tucks underneath my arms so it fits perfectly aligned against my stomach. Um, I mean, you can play with this and obviously it's how high you want it or how low you want it or how, how you want it. It can be perfectly adjusted with this. Um, I'd say, in fact, let's do this. If I open this out even further, you can see for me, I'm 5'10". It drops all the way down just to where my waistband is. I think the way that I've been filming this, it just makes it a little easier that it's a little higher. So there we have it sitting perfectly just on the front now as I mentioned you've got these double zips so that if you need to get into here to withdraw a firearm it's there as you need it whether you're right-handed or left-handed it works it feels so strange putting it on the other on the other shoulder it works in exactly the opposite way that you can pull this open take your firearm out and use it if needed. Just an extra point, although I mentioned I'm not tactically trained, uh, I have dedicated my life to finger pistoling. Uh, please do not try and copy any of these techniques. Make sure that you are always supervised by a finger pistol professional. Um, if you choose to do so, that is for your own safety and for the safety of people around you. Now, as I usually do at this point, it comes to if there's anything that I would possibly change about the pack. I think generally this is a great sling bag. Um, there's nothing on here that I would radically change to make this better for my use, make it better for possibly anybody else's use. You know, I've already mentioned that this underneath here is the only aspect of it that's not ambidextrous so if you know I when, when I, I carry it like this if I swing it round there's the potential for things to fall out the only way to change that maybe would be to have it so that it is a horizontal zip or at least it's horizontal if you hold it that way 
um, so that you could get your hand in or out but I don't think the zip there on the bottom for any left handers out there I don't think it detracts anything from the actual construction of this and I think it's a very well constructed bag um, Victos are very very vocal when you have a look on the website about who they use to make and what sort of knowledge they draw from to be able to make these bags and packs and the equipment that they've got they they draw a lot of that information from acting uh, and um, retired military personnel and you can see a lot of thought that has been actually put into this the only other thing that I would possibly change and this is Again, this is just a small niggly thing, is on the underside here, this uses the old-fashioned style PALS webbing. Um, I recently reviewed the Perimeter 25, which has the laser cut um, PALS webbing on the front. Um, I think that would be really cool, again, uh, maybe part of aesthetics, um, but considering Victos have the ability to use and build in that laser cut molly onto here or the laser cut pals webbing onto here i think that would just be a great addition i definitely don't feel any sort of abrasion on the clothes there's no there's no wear and tear that i'm getting from this and it still feels nice and flat it doesn't it's not difficult or harsh to carry um, but i think it would look really in fitting with some of the other gear that they make to maybe do that change if there was an upscale three i think it would be great to see that on the back but fundamentally <laughs> there's nothing that i'd change about this i think it is a great layout i think the materials that are used are top notch as well um as far as do i like it or not <laughs> hopefully you'll have guessed by this point yes i do um I like that they went for the asymmetrical feel to this. I've shown this on lots of occasions, but you know, being able to hold it so that it, it almost wants to lie flat because of the way that it's, it's designed. If I was to put this in the middle here with this grab handle, and also at this point, I've took quite a lot out of here. This isn't all of the stuff that I've put back in, but now when I hold this, it just wants to, it wants to rotate on itself so many of these style bags that use um, that symmetrical layout in which the suspension system works now having put that back on again it just wants to lie naturally flat against my body um, so for me this sling bag really does tick a lot of boxes as far as what you can do with it and also ergonomics <laughs> so many sling bags out there when you put them on it wants to roll on your back this one sits really well so that it doesn't feel as though it's trying to slip underneath my arm if you take for example the hazard for hard case one that I reviewed a few years back or a year back after a while of walking you do find that that naturally just wants to move around to a to an underarm kind of position whereas with this one there's no roll in the back and after a lot of walking it really just wants to stay kind of in the nape of your back which which is great so yeah i, I think i definitely over gilded the lily on that one as far as whether i like this or not it's a another great piece of kit coming from victos and i have another piece of gear from them that we'll be testing and I will bring you some content on that and how potentially that fares against other bags in its class. If you follow me on Instagram, link below here, then you'll see that. Um, oh yeah, but you know, links, there's some links here. Follow me on Instagram. Also check out um, Tactree. Huge thank you again to Tactree for sending this my way. Um, it's great and I look forward to future collaborations. Um, yeah, you know, like, subscribe, share, all that kind of deal. And for now, stay safe, stay Marlander and stay EDC.